All right, here we're going to do uh, just one more derivative problem involving the number pi. Um, so here we've got h of x equals cosine of secant of 5 pi x. So what we're going to do here, we'll have to use the chain rule a couple times on this problem. So again, there's no product rule in this because there's no cosine x times sine x. You know, it's cosine of secant of 5 pi x. So that's one thing I think to uh, to be uh, to be aware of. Think about that at the beginning. That's the first thing I think about. You know, I kind of look at that. And my brain is thinking, you know, product rule or chain rule. So this is just a big composition. So this will just be chain rule. I'm gonna just jump down a little bit to make sure I have plenty of room. So the derivative of cosine that'll be the outside part. We would get negative sine. And again, now we leave the inside stuff alone. So we leave the secant of 5 pi x all alone. Now we have to take the derivative of secant 5 pi x. Well, let's see, what is the derivative of secant? Well, the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So here we'll get secant, well not of just x, but of 5 pi x. So there's our secant x, tangent, again not just x, it's tangent of 5 pi x. And then we have to multiply by, uh, again, the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of 5 pi times x would just be 5 pi. And that's now our, now our derivative. Um, I don't think there's, again, a lot of simplification we could do. You might write this as like negative 5 sine of secant 5 pi x. Um, times secant 5 pi x, tangent 5 pi x. There's really not much to do except to maybe pull the 5 pi out front. Not, uh, not a good way that I can see to sort of simplify this and condense it down to something more compact.